It is a rather sorry first year anniversary for the French president, Francois Hollande, with uh, tens of thousands of leftists marching through Paris to denounce him. Have a look at these pictures right here. Now, these are the same people who just 12 months ago hailed him as a socialist hero. According to polls, Hollande is now the most unpopular French leader in recent history. RT's Tessa Arcilia reports now on what's caused such a drastic change of heart. Me? I heard you. I heard your will for change. A year ago, thousands of people had gathered at this very place to celebrate the victory of socialist president Francois Hollande. But a year on, thousands of people are again gathered, but for a very different reason this time. They're asking their president, where are the changes that he had promised? Asked by the very same people who had voted left and put Hollande in place. Recent polls show his popularity has plummeted to less than 25 percent, the biggest fall for any French president in the past 50 years. Monsieur Hollande, elles sont où les promesses? Monsieur Hollande, where are your promises, huh? Come on, where are they? Et c'est la mission qui désormais est la mienne. This is the mission that from now on will be mine, to give the European construction a dimension of growth, employment and prosperity. Yet France has hit record unemployment of 3.2 million people in March, the biggest source of public anger. It's also scratched hopes of cutting the budget deficit to 3% of GDP by 2013. And the European Commission's most recent forecast shows France will be in recession till the end of the year. The 75% income tax on the super-rich is also a no-go, after France's constitutional court overruled it, while the very talk of it pushed French actor Gérard Depardieu to give up his citizenship for a Russian one. One promise Hollande did manage to keep is legalizing gay marriage, pleasing supporters, yet also sparking fierce confrontation. People are happy with gay marriage, but it doesn't feed our families. It doesn't give us food. There are realities that are good to say, but there are also priorities. Priority is employment. We need to eat. It is obviously too easy to blame François Hollande. He has been elected a year ago only, and obviously you cannot pretend that the new president immediately has a, uh, uh, achievements in terms of the economy. What I would like anyway, I just would like to get a, a president which is not making that much promises, which is keeping some key points, which is not going to explain that he has the, the magic recipe that no one has before. A magic recipe this filmmaker says is non-existent. He made this video during last year's presidential campaign to show the country's lack of choice. Effectivement, quand on écoute les médias, on peut penser qu'il y a énormément de différences. When you listen to the media, you'd think there were a lot of differences between the two, but that's just on a superficial level. On the most important things, they agree. Do we need to intervene in another country to fight? They will agree to intervene in other countries because the weapons lobby will always be behind it. Hollande is well aware of his unpopularity, but says he will weather this storm and prove he can keep his promises at the end of his five-year term. He needs time. Fine. We are here to tell him, Mr. President, time is up and you need to start changing things. But others, like these workers from a recently closed steel plant in eastern France, are not even hopeful, symbolically laying to rest Hollande's broken promises under a heading which reads betrayal. Tessar Celia, RT, Paris.